McLaren P1, Ferrari, La Ferrari, Porsche 918 Spider. Holy hypercar trinity, Batman! It's time for a lightning lap challenge. So, car and driver holds uh, a contest at VIR each year called the lightning lap, uh, where they take a, a group of performance cars out to VIR uh, and run it on the Grand West layout. Uh, just see who's fastest. Usually they'll group it by price range uh, as they do it. Now with the release of the Porsche expansion pack, uh, VIR is now in Forts 6. So I thought this would be a great track to go and just take random cars uh, in the Forza game out and do a lightning lap. And to kick things off, I thought I'd start with the Holy Hypercar Trinity of the McLaren, the LaFerrari, and the Porsche uh, 918 Spider. Now, I started things off with the McLaren because of the three, this was the one I was most familiar with. And as you can see, very good car to drive. Uh, actually, out of the three, it's probably the most stable uh, that, that I found. A little bit of understeer. Um, but I just, well, hang on, let me just shut up and listen to the engine. Just touching 180 before hitting the brakes, getting into the real technical bit. So in doing this hypercar challenge, yeah, obviously you can see I've got the braking line on, but I've turned all the other assists off. So no stability control, no traction control, uh, no ABS, and Though I will just do manual shift, I won't do manual with clutch because I, I like the, hearing the natural shift sound that the game makes. And again, this this McLaren, if there, if there was a beginner player that wanted to drive one of the hypercars, uh, these hypercars, I'd probably tell them to take the McLaren before uh, the LaFerrari or the or the or the 918. Nice and neat through there. On the front stretch. Two thirty one nine. Not a bad start. Stuff being the first one out. Well, let's see what the Ferrari can do. Now for the challenges, I record them in free play. I'll just set up a two-lap race. You know, first lap is a standing lap, and then we'll do the flying lap uh, for the second one. And I'm not looking for an ultimate perfection in the lap or, or trying to eke out every last tenth out of the car. It's just get out, set a good lap, and see where the times fall. Now if I have a major shunt or majorly dirty the lap, I do reserve the right to re-record it. Uh, but for the most part, it's just go out, run a flying lap, and see what we do. Ferrari, in comparison to the McLaren, uh, the back end's a bit freer. Uh, it, it likes a little more tendency to oversteer, whereas the McLaren, I felt, had a smidge of push in it uh, more than anything else. And I'm, I'm not going to discuss the 918 yet, uh, but... And engine sound, I... I don't know, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of, of how the LaFerrari sounds in the game. I, I'm, but driving-wise, it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got through through that little chicane better in the Ferrari than the McLaren. A little bit 
wide. And again, I, I mentioned earlier about how the back end wants to kick out a little bit more on the Ferrari than the McLaren. There we go. Ferrari faster than the McLaren? Yeah. So let's see what the 918 Spider can do. Now, I, I kind of mentioned I didn't want to talk about the handling earlier. This car wanted to kill me. Um, the best I can describe it is it, it and, I, and I won't blame the car entirely or how it was put in the game. Uh, I'll I'll chalk it up to be to a picnic issue, you know, person in chair, not in car. Uh, it, it required a different kind of driving to get the best out of it you know, compared to the McLaren and the and the and the LaFerrari. I, I kind of like to let the car carry speed into the corner, um, but if I tried to do that in the in the in the Porsche, I was fighting oversteer and tank slappers. It, it just it would just kind of snap out. So you have the three. This was the only car I had to brake at that point in the S's. Uh, and I, I probably ran twice as... You know, I ran more attempts in the Porsche than the Ferrari and the McLaren combined. But listen to that sound. Not quite as fast as the McLaren or the Ferrari on that stretch. But I think once I kind of got a good handle in the car, I was able to, to stitch a decent lap together. Uh, again, it, it's I think to get the most out of it, it's it's a completely different style of driving that you would do in, in either the other the other two of these these cars. See even there. A little bit of a tank slapper trying to keep the back, you know, under control. Nice and neat through there. But again, because the back is so twitchy, uh, it was just hard to really get some, get confidence in the car to put down a really fast lap. And as you can see, definitely slower than the other two. So while I'd probably want to own the McLaren and the 918 makes the best noise, the winner of this hot lap challenge is the Ferrari LaFerrari. Ferrari.